Hi friends, so Ableton 12.1 has been released to public beta and we are given new tools, new ways of working with life and in this video I want to show you all those bits or the most important one so you know what you can expect with the next update. So first off we're gonna start with Auto Shift, which is new uh, auto tuning kind of device in Ableton Live and I have here a few samples of me trying to sing. Uh, so this is like me making some vocal uh, vocalizers. Uh, so I will uh, play with to you something I've recorded like the, um, So this is without auto shift. I hope you <laughs> your ears doesn't uh, bleed uh, at this point so with auto shift let's turn off the uh, auto filter so it sounds like it's the pitch correction is applied so before because i have c minor scale you are able to choose the scale or just make the scale by your on your own by cho choosing uh, selecting and selecting specific notes i'm able to like tune this uh, this sound to specific frequency so um, and if i um, decrease the smooth time it, it, it will take less time for the pitch correction to happen so this uh, this sounds like akon singing and this is more like um, natural state so So this is already nice so you can make some you know singing or singing alike sounds uh, but in the context of uh, techno music we don't use uh, like really like the smooth vocal that much we like to have something being processed this is when the auto shift comes in handy with the midi on button which allows you to tune the uh, the sound it can be a, a melody a pad no, not a bad, but it has to be monophonic signal to specific MIDI notes. So I have this bass line. Yeah, so if I route the MIDI, um, the auto shift to my warm bass, now I get. And this sounds super cool in my opinion. I can, you know, correct the pitch. So I have uh, here a pitch correction. I can change the format. So to, let's, let's say, uh, put things up. I think this is really nice. Let's uh, see what else we could do with this. We can also harmonize the sound. So I have a pad here, which has some, uh, as you can see, some harmonies uh, played, but it's muted. So if I will change the pad to, if I will change the auto shift to the pad, this is So this is really interesting. Of course, my um, vocal doesn't sound as good as professional one. So let's try some something professional. So this is a sample. Let's try with uh, auto shift with the warm with the bass line being routed first. It went down, but it got that a bit of the rhythm but I think it sounds really nice when we change the pad and I have the same, the same harmony, but uh, slightly up.
So this is a really nice way to work with sample, work with your own voice. Let's go to a drum sampler, which is uh, like a sampler, a simplify, simplified version of simpler. Maybe we can call it like that. So you get that as a new uh, instrument over here, drum sampler. Uh, on Ableton side, they say it, it works really well with drum, drum racks. So you can make a drum sampler being default pad in the drum rack. So we can just place it here. Yeah, click left and save as default pad. Uh, what do you want over? Okay, so I already have that. Um, so let me see uh, just a quick example if I'm if I just going to put some loop. Yeah, it's uh, some sample. It's it. I already did that, so it already puts that sample into this drum sampler. But let's do something. For, uh, so I have this sample. And I put the same sample into the, I put the same sample into the drum sampler just to see what else I can get. So you get pretty standard uh, AD, not AD, AHD, uh, attack, hold and decay. Uh, yeah, controls. But I think what's really nice, apart from those standi uh, standard ones, are those effects. So this stack effect. Like stretch which is like short, create short grains short delays yeah you can add, add, add an FM synthesis add, add noise and then you can link that to velocity so when you add velocity to your um, to your sequence so let's say we have um, let's maybe that way and maybe this time we will change it. Yeah, so. So it works on FX number two, so amount. Let's uh, do something different. Maybe, yeah, let's try. Yeah, so it changes with every shot, the different frequency. And I like the simplicity of this tool, to be honest. So I think this is really nice addition. Also uh, with hi-hats, I have some hi-hats here. Yeah, so this hi-hat is, and I've added the pitch envelope velocity. So you, you, you can hear how the pitch envelope like makes it slightly higher with so I have this velocity changes. So apart from the dynamics uh, and loud, you know, playing louder, playing softer, I get this rise in pitch. So this was the drum sample sampler, uh, really nice. And then we have saturator, which is basically just refresh saturator we know from the previous version of Lives. Uh, so what they did, they made it specifically work with uh, the bass sounds, which has this extra um, sine wave for bass shaper. But I found for this specific bass, the sine fold works really well. So you see with without the saturator i'm able to get to, to, to peak with this bass line at minus 18. if i add the saturator i'm peaking roughly at the same volume even sl slightly lower so i could crank it up a bit yeah so the same peaks but the sound is much much in my opinion fuller in the context of full mix. Vocal 
while here. I, I did a bit of it's correct correct situation. Yeah, so I think the wave, sh um, the saturator sounds really nice on different, different uh, sounds, and I'll be definitely exploring it more with the uh, bass uh, sounds, as this has this sorry, uh, as this has this extra bass shaper. But to me, that we can actually make a comparison. So this is with bass shaper. I just feel for this specific bass, this sign fold works better. Okay, so then they've changed the limiter, which I think is really nice. Looks nice. It has two ways of working with signal. So cranking it, cranking it up, and then uh, you know limiting as um, you know classic limiter works. And then we have maximize. So we kind of like put the threshold down and uh, crank it up output. So it's something like you, you can, you probably know, or if you use Ozone mastering tools, they also have maximizers. And also they've added three modes. And I think this true peak mode is really nice because it uh, prevents from uh, inter sample clipping. And you see, I'm, I'm not getting any true peaks. This one will be on the this, um, this, 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 and then let's uh, do some keyboard. So with zero, this is a nice way you can. And uh, sorry, so here zero, and here we will do zero, and then this guy we will change. So what will happen is with we will just click, click. So this guy. We are able to get minus 10 loves. Which correct situation. Roughly the same. Which correct situation. I think this has more dynamics. And then we have the, the two ways of routing the signal left and right and mids, uh, mids and side which is also nice. I'm not that uh, fluent in mastering, but I think for the basic kind of limiting when you want to just crank up the volume and maybe send the track to you uh, that you've made to the label or uh, test it uh, uh, on the big speakers, I think with this the limiter, you will be able to really get the uh, proper volume and, uh, and, and play it and test it. So, you know, I made this sketch really quick, kind of simple, and let's compare it. So this is professionally, you know, master track from William Harris. I think it doesn't stand out that much. I think uh, it works really well. So this limiter sounds and works nice. Uh, then we have this uh, few more ways we can work with MIDI. Like for example, use the filtering. And here is the filtering that you can enable the filtering here and you can, I don't know, filter all the F notes or G notes or <clears throat> Uh, maybe the nodes that have some conditioning or nodes that fits in some specific scale. This is nice, but I think more for people who really works with uh, tonal music, who use a lot of melodies, chords and so on. <clears throat> for us techno producers, which is kind of like more using music theory in a simple, <laughs> simplistic way, it, uh, it it's not that um, required. Like. I, I don't think I'll be using uh, this feature that much, but but it's there. But I what I really like uh, for the uh, for the uh, for all the ad new additions is the way you can use groove. So for example, <clears throat> when you add some groove, let's add it. Uh, for example, 
and let's have um, okay so we are opening the groove pool and now when we just add some grooves you now can choose which groove would be default so in this instance I have this groove being as a default so if I create a new MIDI clip you can see that this groove is already applied and I think this is really nice uh, for like setting a core groove for example around a baseline or something like that and then with all the new clips you're going to create they will share the same groove uh, which is really nice and will make this whole music like locks itself uh, on the groove level much much more so this is really uh, nice then um, another feature is like you can see the undo history which is also nice when you work with something and then you kind of like oh i want to get back to that specific uh, thing and then you like command z command z command z and then you can't go back but now you will be able to do that also you can use the browser in the like a full window mode which is also nice and i'm kind of like getting more and more into the filters uh, which i'm not a big fan but uh, what they did is they've added possibility to or even the, the the live right now scans all the browser and all the samples which are less than 60 seconds will have the auto tag applied which is nice for like browsing through your sample collection so for example i have this collection of hats you see and this is the closed hat so if i click edit i'm able to see that with those uh, markers that it has some application so you see it's hi-hat close hi-hat so it's, it's really nice type one shot and then we will see for example creator user i can change the creator over here add the creator and so on so yeah like add tag so i can have nested tags though so the tags are now like nested so it's not like uh, for example i can have bias and then within base you see i got a the weight base acoustic and so on and i can add my own bass like funky bass for example funky bass yeah and this will be now <clears throat> attack within attack and i cannot go further attack within attack and attack I, it's just one level but i think it's uh, nice anyways so yeah uh, i think these are all uh, the major updates you can have the the most important one, ones are auto shift uh, the um, update of saturator updates of limiter uh, the drum sampler which is nice and all the small features uh, around working with ableton so with this update you get a slightly tuned ableton uh, which is more like uh, in response to the user needs and kind of like updates the workflow so i hope this uh, this was useful this was helpful and can't wait to hear your tracks made with uh, this new devices till the next time bye